Photoshop tutorial number three. This uh, tutorial is about the selection tools and this is an introduction to selection. I have an image here, selection one JPEG, that you will use in your practices and I will show you how to use it here, how to select different parts of the image using the select tools. There are three ways that you can make selections in Photoshop. Well, what is a selection? What does that mean? You're taking a piece or a chosen part of an image and that's the only part that you want to edit is that part that is selected. So that's why it is called the selection tools. There are three ways that you can use it. You can use the selection tools over here in the toolbar. You can go to the top and hit the select menu and then you can use keyboard shortcuts. Now these keyboard shortcuts are right here listed and we'll go through some of them in a minute. Um, the, but they're going to do lots of things at one time not just a small selection so that's when the tools come in. So you have, if you want to select everything, then it's Command A. Deselect is Command D. Reselect, Shift Command D. And the one you'll probably use uh, a lot as well is Command Shift I, which is inverse. It's taking the reverse selection. So you select something, but you want the opposite one actually selected. And I'll show you that in a minute. So we have our three sections of tools. We have our, if you hold down the button, you'll see the rest of the menu. Rectangular marquee, elliptical marquee, a single row, or a single column. And this works sort of like if you're doing just one line at a time and you just want one row of pixels or one column of pixels, we don't use it very much in our class. Next, you have the lasso section of tools. And again, hold it down and you'll see the rest of them. The lasso, polygon, which is more as you select it, it'll be straight lines. And then the magnetic lasso tool, which using the algorithms in Photoshop we can tell the difference between contrast and color and so we can actually select around curves if it's a large enough area that it can tell the difference between and then we have the magic wand or the quick select tool so as we're going over these selection tools uh, before you even do that, you need to know about the Move tool, which is the top one above. Now this will kind of move your image or move pieces of your image or your layers uh, wherever you want them to do. So you're going to have to go back and forth between Selection and Move to get things the way you want it to be uh, later on. So my Selection tool, first thing I'm going to do is the Rectangular Marquee and basically you are making a selection with the marquee and if it's a white arrow then that means you can move your selection dotted lines wherever you want and that's your selection and you take the move tool and you can move it out of its place so I'm going to cancel that because I don't want to actually take it out I just want to show you how to do it now this is where you're, so say I am did the wrong size or something like that, then I need to unselect or deselect. So I can come to the select menu and hit the command D on the keyboard. Either one will do the same thing and you'll notice that the dotted lines, the dashed lines go away. I can change it to an elliptical and again I could do this using the mouse the whole time or I can use the keyboard for marquee it's M or I can hit shift M and it and you'll notice that is 
changes from the rectangular to the elliptical and just back and forth by whichever one. So once I click on those tools on the keyboard, then I can shift between the different tools in that section. So here I have a, a an elliptical. I'm going to deselect so I can show you a little bit more. So we have the elliptical and you have options with these as well. So if, if I hold the shift button while I'm making my selection, then it's going to keep the proportions. It's going to make it a circle. If I use the option button, then it's going to take it from a different perspective. Wherever I started, it's going to make that the center. So there are different, using different keyboards while you're using the mouse and the selections can help you make those selections more accurately. So as we make our selections, you'll see that you have a dotted line sort of moving around as you make your selections. Another thing that you can do is add to your selections. So say you have a piece of it you want to add. You can hold down the shift button and it's going to make another one and it's going to join those two pieces together. So hold down the shift button and it adds to it. If you hold the option button, you'll see that this little plus sign has a little minus sign now behind it and that is going to take away. So I can sort of modify my shapes if I hold down the option button while I select. And then I'm going to change to the move tool and then I can cut it or I could take it and add it to another image where I'm using it. Okay, so I'm going to hit command D to deselect. So say I want to just take the sky part out of this picture. Um, there's a couple of ways that I can do this. Uh, I could use the lasso tool and that has a keyboard of L or shift L to go through these three and just go back and forth between them. So if I use L or shift L I can go through and you can see that it's shifting those. So here is the lasso tool. If I hold down the mouse and I follow along my borders I am not very steady with the mouse and you see it's not really a perfect job but it gets the the basics done. If you have a steady hand then this would might be a good tool for you and then you can either possibly delete that section or you can take the move tool and move that section somewhere else wherever you need it to be. Um, so that is the lasso tool. Here is the polygon lasso tool and you see these are more straight lines. So on this one you're using straight lines to go through and it really is kind of hard to do with a curved surface like this. Kind of have to be very careful and not cutting away too much of the things you're trying to keep. But see how it keeps a straight line and then you just go back to your beginning and if you can find that beginning point then you can make that selection and do the same thing. So command D to deselect. Shift L is going to take me and now you see that it has a little magnet on top and this is going to if you hold down the mouse button it's going to try to follow the edges of it and it puts little dots where you can see where it's going and if there's a difference in contrast or in color then it's going to make those selections and now it's just following the edge back to the beginning and once it has that little circle at the bottom and that's going to take you back to the beginning and you know you're on one of those dots.
So then this is a little bit closer. And if I delete that, it still has a little bit of blue around the edges, but most of this is a lot cleaner than the other two. Like I said, this is with a curve. If you have like straight edges, then the polygon might be good. If you're just being freehand, then you can use the regular lasso. And so I'm going to deselect. The next tool is the wand, and it has a keyboard of W. And using your tolerance up here at the top, you can change your tolerance level. This is going to choose a color that is very similar to what is there already. And so I'm changing these and taking these as colors for uh, my selection. Now, right up here it says contiguous, and that means that anything that's touching that area. So if I wanted to click over here, I'm adding it to it, but it's only taking those colors that are similar. It's not taking anything up here. Now, if I take this check mark off and then add that, see, it, now it added stuff that's not actually touching it. There's something in between. So the magic wand is a very good tool. So I can just add it and see it's adding stuff over here. I can take this and as now it's adding some of the mountain. So sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't. You have to just be very careful with it. And so I'm going to hit Shift W to change it to my quick select tool. And depending on the size of the brush, and you can see that how big the circle is. It's going to take a selection that is very similar in contrast, color, those other things, and take those pieces out. It's, see, it doesn't always work when I, oh, if I was just trying to take the sky, because it took some of this mountain right here, the edges, because it's so bright. Now, if that happens, then I can hold the option button down, and that basically is my deselect for this quick tool. And then it's taking away part of that selection, it's subtracting from that selection, holding down the option tool, and now I can delete that section. And I still might have a little bit there, but it's the quicker way to do everything. So that is a preview of the selection tools.